Hi there. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about how you might mount your gel prints or your collages or your other works on paper. Uh, not in a frame, but how about onto wood? It's actually not that hard and the presentation is really nice. So let me show you how to do it. So what you'll need are your artwork and this is uh, from an 8 by 10 gel plate. The paper is 8.5 by 11. And my wood panel that I'm going to mount this on. Now the only thing is I think the wood panel is a little bit uh, larger than the edge of the print. So I'll show you how we handle that. It's close to the right size, but not quite. And then you're going to need something called Studio Tack. This is only one way to mount a print on wood. There are other ways, but this is the way I'm going to show you. This is called Studio Tack. I'm going to leave a link for it in uh, the notes below the video. And it's basically a kind of adhesive paper. You peel off one side and this is sticky. So, all right, let's... Once you've rubbed everywhere, you want to peel off the paper off of the wood. You can't see much, but what's happened is there's now a sticky coating on this wood. So what I did was I held this up to the light, to the window, and I used a pencil to make a mark where the outline of the art is. And what I'm going to do is turn this, the sticky wood, over and try to match up best I can to the edges of the print. I'm pushing it down. Okay, and I've got extra white around the edges here, so I'm going to trim that out. So I've got my cutting surface, a ruler, and an X-Acto knife. I'm going to flip it over to the other side. I'm just using my ruler for protection. I'm going to hold it down pretty tight with a sharp knife here. Also, I would probably put, use your leftover paper that you had from the studio tack and lay this down under a pile of books uh, overnight and that will help the adhesive stay. So what I would do is just kind of extend the color after you have mounted your art to the wood panel, let's add some way to hang it up. So you're gonna need a drill. You're going to need these, which I got, I think on Amazon. They're the D-rings. You can get the small kind. Some screws to go with it. And some easy soft wire. I think I also got that on Amazon. 